Components of a typical income statement. The income statement is a financial report that depicts the operating performance of a company, such as profitability, over a specified period of time, typically longer than a quarter or a year. The income statement facilitates the analysis of a company's growth prospects, cost structure, and profitability. Financial analysts, or people who understand finances and income statements, can use the income statement to identify the components and sources or drivers of profit. Net revenues. Net revenues are the total dollar payment for goods and services that are credited to an income statement over a particular time period. The next component of income statements are cost of goods sold, or COGS. Costs of goods sold represent a company's direct costs of manufacture or procurement of a good or service that the company sells to generate revenue. The next one is gross profit. This is revenues minus cost of goods sold. Selling general and administrative or SG&E. Op these are operating costs not directly associated with the production or procurement of the product or service that the company sells to generate revenue. Payroll, wages, commissions, meal and travel expenses, stationary advertising, and marketing expenses fall under this line item. Research and development or R&D. This is a company's activities that are directed at developing new products or procedures. Earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, or EBITDA. This is gross profit minus selling general and administratives minus research and development. EBITDA is a popular measure of a company's financial performance. Depreciation and amortization. This is the allocation of costs over a fixed asset's useful life in order to match the timing of the cost of the asset to its expected revenue generation. Other operating expenses divided by income. Any operating expenses not allocated to COGS, SGNA, R&D, and DNA. Earnings before interest and taxes, or EBIT. This is the earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, or EBITDA, minus DNA. Interest expense. Interest expense is the amount the company has to pay on debt owed. This could be bondholders or to banks. Interest expense subtracted from EBIT equals earnings before taxes, or EBT. Interest income. A company's income from its cash holdings and investments, such as stock bonds and savings accounts. Usual or infrequent income and expenses. Gain or loss on sales or assets. Disposal of a business segment. Impairment charge. Write-offs and restructuring costs. Income tax expense. The tax liability a company reports on the income statement and net income. This is EBIT minus net interest expense minus other non-operating income minus taxes. Basic earnings per share or EPS. This is net income divided by basic weighted average shares outstanding. And lastly we have diluted EPS and this is net income minus diluted weighted average shares outstanding.